Hey guys, it's Mermaid Mama. I'm going to do a video today, obviously. <laughs> I'm special. Okay, guys, bear with me. Um, I'm actually going to do what is, it's called a string pull through um, some white on these tabletops. Well, this is the top tabletop, and then this is the bottom. It is a, uh, when it's put together, these posts go in between, and it's a lamp table. It's really cool. Um, I'm not sure where we got it, but we've had it for a very long time, and the cord in it broke, so my husband took it apart, and I'm like, I'm going to paint that. And he said, okay. So that's what we're doing. So I've already sanded it. And I didn't like try to make it perfect. I just wanted something for the paint to adhere to. And so we're going to get started. First step is I need to take this off. And I know that's boring, but you get to watch it anyway. So, ah! well, fiddlesticks. Where's my tape? This look. Tape is tape. I have lots of electrical tape because I use it more often when I make my cups. Um, I also, you know, I, well, I make almost everything. I love to create things. So, I'm going to tape off the edges because I don't want any of this stuff to run over because I'm going to sand the sides and um, stain them when this is all dry. Get taping. It's probably not going to stick very well, but I'm just trying to, actually, I'll just pack something down in there because I don't want any paint to get stuck in me holes. No paint in me holes. I didn't think that was a little weird. <laughs> That's okay. I'm a little weird. Or a lot weird. It might be a lot weird. <laughs> Bags are good for something. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm sitting here thinking that this is why they have video editing software is people like me, but I'm probably not going to edit it. And I'm not taping perfectly because, like I said, I'm going to sand and restain this once 
um, the paint has dried. And then I will also coat it in a layer of a resin epoxy um, to give it durability and to keep the paint from chipping. And that'll be another video after it dries. I also will show you the sanding and staining in a second video as well. And I haven't fully decided to stain, which is another reason why I hadn't um, went ahead and sanded it when I did the tabletops and do it all in one go because I haven't 100% decided what stain I want to use yet. Thinking maybe like a black or a dark walnut stain would be nice, but we'll have to see how it looks when I'm done. All right, so the base of this is going to be white. Um, when I do like negative space pours, I tend to prefer black, but when I'm doing the string pours, the colors are more vibrant to me in white. Um, but then again, it's everybody's opinion, right? And I've got a saying about those, but I gotta stop saying that on screen. <laughs> Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one and they usually stink. Glug, glug. Milk anybody? some more white paint. I think I went a little overboard with my white there with my uh, Floetrol. And I use Floetrol instead of the Artist Loft um, Flow Enhancer or the, um, I'm trying to think of what the other one's called. I can't remember off the top of my head. They get a little pricey and the Floetrol does the same thing. It's a paint conditioner. It will thin your paints without dulling down your pigments and um, it gives a nice self-leveling and you don't lose any of that properties in your paints when you use this as opposed to water or there's another thing out there where you can use Elmer's glue and that's great for practicing it's great for kids it's great for teaching how to pour but when they dry long term, they crack, separate, and it becomes something completely different. So I always use my blow trough when doing something that I'm wanting to keep. If I'm just wanting to play and practice, the glue's fine, cheap. And if I'm playing with kids, that's fun too. So, all right, so we've got our white mixed up. Make sure it's all. And that's the good consistency. It's nice and flowy. It's kind of like a good honey consistency. Maybe a little bit thinner. I don't know. My honey's really thick, so I don't know. Maybe I'm special. Maybe other people have different honey, but so we're going to go ahead and coat the whole thing in white. Maybe I didn't go as overboard as I thought I did. Maybe I went underboard. Part where most people use gloves, but I don't. <laughs> yep, I'm going to need some more. kind of soaky into the wood. I didn't think about that. <sighs> Definitely don't need some. <laughs> Sorry, get more white paint. <laughs> And the paint is about half paint, half floor troll is my mixture. Um, and that is with craft paints 
or flow paints. Now, if it is a fuller bodied paint, um, some of your artist lofts and your acrylic paints that you use for standard painting are a little bit thicker. They have more pigments, so they're uh, fuller bodied, and those need to be watered down prior to the flow trial with water till you get it to a more fluid consistency so that it can mix with the flow trial appropriately. Right now I'm just trying to get the white to cover the whole surface and I taped off the edges so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. So you can see I guess. <laughs> All right. All right. Now that our edges are covered, I'm going to use color shift paints today. And, um, wiping on my apron. Look at that. Woo! That's what I do all the time. That's why it looks like that. That's why we wear aprons, people. Aprons. So I'm going to start, I'm using Folk Art, so that's her, Color Shift Purple. I'm going to use Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Sapphire. I am using Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. Uh, green Flash Color Shift as well, Folk Art. And again, Folk Art Color Shift pink flash. So let's get started. Let's shake these up. Let's start. And I'm going to line them in the bottom of this and then I will show you in up close what I do with the strings. So we're going to pour out a little bit. pretty. I don't know if the camera's picking up what those colors are doing, but that is so pretty. These color shifts are awesome. They change colors. Like this one shifts from pink to a purple. That green is shifting from that green to a blue. That purple is shifting to a gold. It is so cool. And I hope these show up in what I'm doing. All right. Did you see? I had twine. Aha. Twine. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some string. And we're going to set it down into the paint. I get it twisted up in there and get it good and coated. And then I'm going to take and set it in here like this. And then you pull it.
this is so party. Party colors make me happy. See, here we'll do it the opposite way now. I'm gonna get a piece of green. I'm gonna go from green to blue. See if more green come up in this thing. Go green up in this thing. I need some green up in this thing.